What's good JD fam? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time ever watching our channel, make sure you press that subscribe button right now. Today we're on our way to a little adventure, a place called Fun Box. We've never been there, but apparently it's the world's largest bounce house park. I saw it on Instagram and it looks really, really fun. I follow this page on Instagram called Dallas Fun Fam and she posts like all different fun things to do during the weekend in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So I saw that idea from her page. I'm so excited. We're gonna have a blast there. A nice little Saturday activity. New Year's is actually, New Year's Eve is tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I forgot that it was tomorrow. I don't know what we're even doing. We have no plans, but at least we have plans for today. Go, go! Are you so excited, my baby? Pika boo! Pika boo! I don't know what it is about the camera, but Koa just does not really like it. He's a little camera shy. Every time he comes on, he like hides, wants to leave the frame. I'm wearing my new shoes today, my Christmas present from Julius. They're off-white cream beige with a little blue tint in there. So fire, and they're literally the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. All right, guys, we made it. It does look like it's huge. I don't know how far back it goes, but this is just the little entrance. downstairs gambling he already won some money me and koa were at the arcade for such a long time this place is really cool because they have so many different sections like it's really really huge they have an entire arcade section they have a movie theater they have a bunch of restaurants and then they also have a pool area that i heard is really nice in the summer but obviously it's like 50 degrees today so no pool so it's a pretty chill New Year's Eve for us. We're not doing anything too crazy. We were gonna stay the night here and then leave tomorrow, but I think we might end up just leaving back tonight. Nothing beats the comfort of your own bed. So I think we're gonna just like have the countdown here and then Skip head out. on back home. Yeah, hour, <laughs> hour and a half drive home. Yeah, it? we'd rather just like be cozy in our bed. I don't know, me and Julius are just like that. We just get kind of like, Oh, scared to sleep other places. I don't know why. It's just probably something in our own head, but it's just how it goes. <laughs> this little one had a blast at the arcade. You having fun downstairs? I do, you know what I'm saying? Oh, let's, let's see what you got. Where did my chips go? You better not lose those. You have to like bolt doors around Koa because he tries to escape out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just downstairs doing what it does. Let me see. You know, we got, we got some yellow chips. What are the yellow chips? We got some yellow chips right here. We got some black chips, purple chips. What are they chips. all equal? We got some red chips. The reds is five. Reds is five, purple's 500, blacks is 100, and yellow is 1,000. Ooh, I like the yellow. So, you know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make it do what it does. Ah! Up, up. <laughs> It's like 11.45, 15 minutes till New Year's. Oh my gosh, I don't know what happened, but I feel like crap all of a sudden. I just got super, super nauseous, threw up so much, and I've just been feeling so sick. So we're actually gonna head back home.
Happy New Year, everybody! What are your guys' goals for this new year? I know everybody kind of makes fun of like the New Year's resolution thing now because everybody makes these goals and only last two weeks. But who's to say that you can't make a goal and stick to it? Who's to say that you're not gonna turn somebody else's joke into like your story, your journey. It's never too late to decide right now in this moment that you wanna make a change, whatever it may be. Not only is every year an opportunity for a better you, but every day is an opportunity to be a better version of yourself. So I'm gonna tell you guys my goals. This is gonna really help me stick to them, manifest where I wanna be, and I'm gonna really share like everything, all the details. Obviously in terms of health and fitness, I'm not where I wanna be. Like. We all know it, we can all see it. I'm not as snatched and skinny mini as I used to be at all, I'm not even close. So I really wanna work on that. I wanna get back to feeling my best, feeling confident, feeling like myself. So let's get into the nitty gritty. Before I was pregnant, before I had Koa, I weighed about 123 to 125. The very end of my pregnancy, like literally the day I had Koa, I weighed 150. Now, Two years later, I am sitting in, I just weighed myself on January 1st. I'm sitting in at 144 pounds. And Koa weighed six pounds when he was born, so you guys do the math. At one point when I was breastfeeding, I did lose some of the weight. I think I got down to like 130, but it's all back, put right back on. Today, I weigh 142, so I already lost two pounds. Like. You go girl, you go girl. So I really just want to make it a goal to really try to eat as healthy as I can, drink so much water, and do some form of physical activity a day, whether that be just like a walk or a little workout in the house. Even if it's only like 10 minutes, I just want to do something. And what's really gonna help my goals as well is this little man right here has very similar goals, right? Yeah. So we're taming up to get ourselves right get ourselves tight and get ourselves together you're already doing great my goals are undisclosed with everybody he's more on that grow in silence type of vibe right okay good morning my beautiful people i'm getting ready right now because we have some adulting to do today and not the good kind of adulting i feel like there's different levels to adulting there's like the young adulting running errands like going to trader joe's going to Sephora, the gym, like those are the fun, that's the fun adulting, right? But the grown, grown adulting that absolutely is what I have to do today. Taxes, Um, I mean the fun part is like going to Costco. I feel like that's grown adulting because like what young adult goes to Costco? Usually me and Julius are like the youngest people in Costco. <laughs> <laughs> going to your kids dentist appointments that's grown adulting do you think your own dentist appointments are a lot wait till you have a kid and have to take them you literally have to hold them down while they scream just to open their mouth like it's they're just opening your mouth they're not even doing anything yet speaking of which koa has another dentist appointment actually next week right before my birthday my birthday is on january 11th so coming up very soon in I don't know, basically like a week. I have no plans yet. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I usually don't really do much for my birthday. It just comes at a weird time. Like everybody's barely winding down from all the holiday commotion. It's not so close to Christmas or New Year's where it just gets grouped in with those. Like some people, if their birthday's right by Christmas, like their family will just have them a cake on Christmas day too. So they get kind of a little celebration, but they still get ripped off. Me, my birthday's not close enough to either where I wouldn't get like a cake or anything but nothing gets planned because you know everybody's just barely like catching their breath including myself <laughs> I know a lot of people can relate to like the birthday holiday thing I was talking to my friend and she was saying how her brother's birthday is like right by Christmas and like he literally has trauma <laughs> from never getting celebrated I'm like wow it's real I don't think my entire life I've ever had a party besides maybe when I was like a kid kid and too young to understand. Like I remember actually when I was maybe like five years old, I had like a roller skating party. But since I've been an adult or even like a teenager, I've never had a party. I really don't even care to have a party either because you guys already know. It would probably have to be a surprise because if not, I would get so much anxiety around it. Then again, I wouldn't want to be surprised because I would want to have a cute outfit and be prepared, you know? So I don't know how that would work. I'm just hoping for the best this year though because the past three years in a row, my birthday had just just has not been a good time in our life. Like it's been rough. It all started three years ago. I literally had a miscarriage on my birthday. Like I was literally 
in bed miscarrying on my birthday. That was hands down, it doesn't get any worse than that. Like that was such a depressing time. And then the following year, it was a little bit better, but we were on a little road trip. We took a little RV up to Washington from California to Washington. And when we were in Washington, we had a COVID scare. We thought we had COVID. So we like rushed back home in the RV and I spent the entire day on my birthday just in the RV. Like didn't even get out, didn't stop anywhere because we thought we were sick. And then it turns out we didn't even have COVID. So that kind of sucked. And then last year was another bad one. Julius unfortunately lost his grandpa right around the time of my birthday. So that was another very, very, very hard, sad time. This year, I'm like, okay, let's just get through it. I just want peace. Universe, just give me peace for my birthday, please. That's all I'm asking for. I went into all that adulting stuff. I don't even think I told you guys what we're actually doing today. We're going to meet with our tax person, accountant, which is just never ever fun. I really truly don't understand why they don't teach you anything about it in school. Like this is such an important thing and I'm pretty sure we're all clueless. Like we just go to somebody and like let them figure it out. We don't even know anything about what they're doing. I'm like hello, don't you think we should learn this type of stuff instead of freaking parabolas? Like why do we need to know about parabola measurements? So far we are doing really good on our little health journey. Been eating super healthy, drinking a lot of water. Julius is doing really good too. He's like, he's been going to the gym. I haven't started the whole gym part. I actually don't even have a gym membership. I don't really like going to a gym. I'd rather work out at home or go to like a workout class like Pilates. But the Pilates studio that I go to, it's literally always booked up. I'm like, how the heck am I supposed to get a class there? Hello? So I guess everybody has, you know, the New Year's resolution of wanting to be fit. So those classes are extra booked up. They're like booked up for the whole month. I'm like, are you kidding me? Hello, can I have a spot? And that's that I have an unlimited membership there. What's the point of having an unlimited membership when you can't even get a single class? Juvia's Place is like one of my brands of the year. This blush duo, if you don't have this blush duo, girl, run, go get it. I don't know what shade it is, but it's like the pinky toned one. You do one dab of that, just a small one. Couple dabs of that, the most Gorgeous, gorgeous pink. I wonder what this year's makeup trends are gonna be. Last year was all about like the really, really natural skin, natural everything. Let's see what the brow trend this year is. I feel every year there's different brow trend and they're all pretty crazy. There used to be like the dip brow phase. I never was into the dip brow. My eyebrows are already way too thick. Like if I did the dip brow, girl. Then there was like the ombre brow. I guess that was kind of with the dip brow where it was super ombre, like light right here, dark right here. Then we went into the laminated brow. I never really got too into the laminated brow because I didn't like like the extreme version when it was just, you know, straight up. Okay, I'm all ready for the day. We are about to head out soon. Where we need to go is like almost an hour away. So we need to get going soon. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We love you so much and Happy New Year again. Happy New Year. Even though it's like four days 